Hey everyone. So I'm going to do a flood coat on a painting that um, already had one coat on it. It's already sanded and cleaned with alcohol and it's ready for a flood coat. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up my resin. I won't need a lot to do the second coat, so I thought I would shoot a quick video so you can see how to use this. Uh, this is the Stone Coat Art Resin. It's called Art Coat. Um, I have a code below in the description for $30 off your order. So if you get the half gallon kit and two metallics, um, put those both in your shopping cart. Use the code CWA, all in caps, and you'll get $30 off your order. So this stuff is phenomenal. If you use art resin, you'll love this because it is a little thicker and it's um, easier to move it around and have it stay where you put it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this. I always put the um, hardener in the cup first. I probably could have mixed those two together first. <laughs> that way the resin's not stuck to the sides of the cup. So mixing time is anywhere between two and four minutes. Um, you want to make sure that there's no resin in the um, mix left. You'll see it when you start mixing. So this stuff is awesome. It um, it dries just like cures, just like glass. But I like this so much better than other resins that I've used, and it's very affordable. Same price point as art resin, except I have a code to use. Well, you'll save thirty bucks. So good time to try it out and I'm sure that you will jump on the bandwagon of Stone Coat for sure. There's no VOCs. Um, it's UV, it has UV inhibitors so your white paintings won't yellow over time. You can use it with acrylic paint and inks and pastes and powders and even oil-based paints spray paint. It's awesome for coasters. Um, it's heat resistant, uh, 475 to 500 degrees. And your work time is about 45 minutes. But I've, I've used it longer than 45 minutes without an issue. So I've got about an hour, a little over an hour out of it. So before it starts to set up. It depends on your environment. If you're in a worn room, it's going to um, probably start to thicken up on you and get warm. But if your temperature in your room is between 70 and 75, you should be fine. But it's 80 degrees out here in my garage, I call it, my garage studio. <laughs> I don't have any issues with that either. So we're almost there. Just watching for the strands. Cleaning my stick, scraping my sides, making sure it's all mixed well. see any resin strands in there. So we can go ahead and start pouring this on this painting. This was a prize for one of my viewers. And this was the painting that he chose. So, Nate, here it is. Last coat. So I'm 
just going to move it around a little bit, then I'm going to use my hand. Make sure it's kind of even on there. You can get away with one coat um, on birch boards or on MDF. It's just canvas is a little harder because it likes to dip a tiny bit when you're using resin. So I um, always do two coats. I like those nice rounded edges where it flows off. And I always do my sides. I don't like the drip marks. <laughs> very quick and easy. It is sticky, I'll give you that. But there is nothing like a resin coating on a painting. It brings everything back to life. So I'm going to take my glove off and pick that up. And I'm just torching the air bubbles out. There's not a lot. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you'll get a notification when I upload a new video. Click like and share, leave a comment, let me know how you feel about resin. I love to read the comments, probably answer questions for you. You can join me on Facebook. All the links are below. You can shop with me on Amazon. We have the torches, the pads, the cups, the washing machine trays. We have everything you need to do acrylic pouring. And we are adding resin products. Um, I did put a new set of tweezers up last night that I bought, and I love them. So I put them in the shop as well. So now I just watch real close to see if there's any little fuzzies so I can pick them out. But I don't see anything going on. She's very clean and crisp. I tip it just a little bit. pretty good. So I'm going to just wait a second and I'll give it another torch and I will move it to my, I call it my coffin. It's a bun pan rack that has um, eight cookie sheets in it and that the bakeries use. It's perfect with um, the cover to put your resin work in so it doesn't get any dust or bugs or anything in it. So this looks perfect. Put one more wipe down the sides. And that's it guys. Simple, simple. Um, before you do your first coat, make sure you clean that silicone as best as you can. You want to get that off the painting so that your resin will be nice and smooth. And this is just like glass. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So check it out. Stone Coat Art Coat. Use the code below. Give it a go and see if you like it. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I wouldn't um, promote it if I didn't like it, but I love it. <laughs> they have so much on their website too. The metallic powders are absolutely gorgeous. Um, there is a black base that we call that black that produces beautiful cells if you're doing resin work. Um, they also have um, this white it's called. Um, 
They just have tons of stuff. They also have um, quick cast, so if you're doing geodes or anything, it sets up faster. So go ahead and check it out. Read everything you can about it. But for the price and the quality, you can't beat it. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next video. Bye now.